Hey y'all, Mikey with Rock and K and Rachel. And as you can see, we got some sunshine. Yeah. So we've had two days of the sunshine and the ground is dried, I think, enough that we're gonna get rid of the rest of that coop and who knows what else we'll get into. But that's all coming up. All right, so the first 30 minutes of this day, or this work day, has been spent trying to make the microphones work. Apparently, my other camera, my phone, I had issues with it, and that's part of why I replaced the, the, the phone with the USB port, because sometimes it would charge, sometimes it wouldn't, you know, USB-C. I guess it's affecting the microphone, because the microphone does plug in there. So... That phone, I'll have to rely on the original microphone for audio, and yeah, all right, so, but what we're up to, we got this, which is the remnants of the chicken coop, and then we got some of that that's going to need to be bagged up, we're going to move some of this dirt here, and Rachel, I guess she's going to try to burn everything down, uh, hopefully not the house included, I'm really not sure. But apparently she wants to use this fire. propane torch and fire to mess with stuff. I don't know if that's such a good idea, but hey, she's going to go in and she's going to pull the garden hose out and turn on the water pump. Because if you've seen, we have the 4,000 liters of water in this barn right behind us and a nice garden hose with a pump so that if she does set everything on fire, she can put it out right but enough dilly dallying and talking i gotta get to work so off we go the crazy stuff over there
All right, y'all, so we got the tractor out. Really didn't mess, you know, it wasn't too bad. But all that's left is this plastic roofing that I have to uh, probably cut up and bag up. So that's that's coming up. You know, that's going to be, um, if not today, tomorrow, whatever, I can do that in the rain because I don't have to worry about driving you know, in the, in the grass, because it's just a cut, going to be a couple of light bags, but you can see what Rachel's doing over there. She's still burning. She's seeing how much she can catch on fire at one time. I did grab the hose and the hose runs all the way up to the top there so that we can stop the fire from coming up any farther here. And yeah, just keep it contained. So as you can see, she's having fun. So she is here just burning it away. That's what it looks like. We'll zoom you out some. But yeah. Whole lot of burning going on. So there's before, and there's after. All that black will wash off, so. But better to control burn it and get rid of all this deadfall and leaves and all the stuff like that than to have it catch fire all by itself. So, yeah. It's it's okay to do a controlled burn, I guess. But it's looking pretty good though, huh? So I guess I know what we're doing the rest of the night. Cause uh she still got quite a bit to go. So the other day when we were tearing the chicken coop up in the other video, tore the hill up pretty good pretty good. But the nice thing is it's just, ju it was just soft enough that I created a bunch of big ruts. And by big ruts, I mean kind of like that. Where you can see it's, it's really low here, then high, then low, then really low. But over here, today, driving back and forth, getting rid of the rest of the coop, I was able to get it all, all flattened down and level. And the good thing is that now it's compacted quite a bit. So, hopefully it won't be as soft. And, you know, once the dry season kicks in, this stuff's going to be like concrete. But right now, we're just outside of the real wet season. I hope. So, yeah. Looks a lot better. Even up here. It's still a little ruddy. Like you can see, there's a couple of high spots here, you know, like here. But it looks a lot better. It was really ruddy before. And there's the chicken coop. It's gonna go from there to there. We have a good bit of time off coming up and hopefully, like it's a still night now, but it's a little after six and we got to work tomorrow. So we'll have to be up probably, I get up around four th between 4.30 and five o'clock. So um, not really gonna burn too much more tonight. And that's pretty much why I didn't light this. However, tomorrow starts well, tomorrow we work, and then after work, we don't work again until the second. And with that said, we're going to be able to light that without having to worry about going to school the next morning. So maybe the weather holds out, and it's kind of like today. And we can at least sit out here, burn this for a little bit. Um, we do have an appointment on Friday, though. So Friday, I go pick up the first bit of solar gear that's going right there on that wall so you have this black part of the wall just past the black part over here 
there's going to be some there's going to be a couple of solar panels here uh it's called Balkan solar here in germany and it's going to feed into the lower barn so we got an appointment friday to pick it up hopefully hopefully they have it there but let me get the hose and keep an eye on this because it's starting to come up over the edge and yeah we'll press on all right y'all so we're gonna finish this day got a little bit of stuff done even though it was only a couple hours after work it's still kind of daylight but it's dinner time so i'm walking down around the the side this is going to be next so we're going to make sure that we can get the hose all the way out here and we'll burn this down next but it does look good i'm not a big fan of fire even though i heat my house with it um fire can be a dangerous thing but hey it can make work easy too let me show you so here is the bank she went through and you know we finished off right here we'll get we'll get the rest of that and around that corner maybe tomorrow but it does look good it looks a lot better than it did i mean you can see what that looks like and we'll zoom you in a little and see what that looks like all that overgrown and brown then you can see what this looks like Not too shabby. Yeah, I'd say not bad for today. You can see it here behind me. Looks a lot better. I mean, it is a lot. So, and if you look, there's Denver Dog. Went running out to the yard and wondering wondering what's up and where his dinner is 6 30 is feeding time in my house for all the animals including this one so that's all that's left of the chicken coop we got some shrapnel and stuff here that we'll we'll clean up when we bag that up right there but it was a good day uh oh here comes Benny dog she's like what are you doing what are you doing, huh? She's on alert. Uh-oh, Penny, that's church bells. It's church bells. Come on. All right, y'all, we're going to call it a day. We'll see you tomorrow, or hopefully tomorrow. All right, y'all. So it is Friday. It is day one of our vacation. Well, our time off not really vacation because we're working but we are in the truck we are getting ready to go actually we are going to pick up our first set of solar panels so we're doing this small set first um so it's going to be two 400 watt 30 panels 430 watt panels and then they're getting hooked up to um, a micro inverter and then actually hooked into the house power system Continue for one kilometer. so this is something that they call Balcon solar here uh, it's a it's a European well I, I know it's a German thing I'm not sure if it's all of Europe so you're allowed to yourself hook up uh, 800 watts of solar and plug it into a regular outlet so and all you have to do is register the inverter, inverter with the um, grid supplier in this case it's Vestnet so I, I can go on their, their um, web page enter all my data for my Enter all the data for my um, inverter, and I'm 100% legal. Um, that gives me the permission to 
feed 800 watts into the house electrical system. So I've spent time making sure that what phase was what because I do have three phase power in my house. Um, so before leaving, um, that's one of the things I was doing was making sure that um, making sure that what was on what phase and everything like that. We're not 100% there yet. We still have to walk around and see what is on every phase. Um, but we got the phases identified in each individual breaker to, as to what phase it's on. So it's gonna make it easier later. Uh, because the idea is they don't pay me for any of the electricity that's generated in excess. So what does that mean? That means I need to find the, the phase of electricity that like my freezers are on because I have two deep chest freezers at the moment. I have to find the phase of electricity that maybe the washer or dryer will end up on because we primarily do these things, do, do the wash during the day, the, the, the um, refrigerator and freezers and all that run all day anyway. And you know, the warm pump for the hot water heater you know, we do shower in the morning typically. Um, so what that means is that it should be generating hot water in during daylight hours. So with that said, we wanna try to identify what phase all these things are hooked up to because although 800 watts is not a lot of electricity, if you're using all 800 watts, it's a lot of, it's a lot of savings. So, that's what the rest of this day will be entailing after going and getting the panels. We'll be getting the phases identified and then going ahead and... In 600 um, meters, turn left to stay on L32. Yeah, so I am using my GPS as you can hear. Um, identifying the phases and then we can get ready for the installation of the solar panels. So... I will come back when we have the panels in the back of the truck and Turn we're hightailing it home. So we'll see you then. Take an exit for Birkenfeld. Supposed to fucking yield. At the roundabout, take the first exit and stay on B269, B41. There was no yield sign. is on the right. Definitely not. So we ended up in this really cool place. 
I like the back of this building. It's quite old, but the car is pretty cool too. That little car is sitting right there. But we are definitely in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so. So, we have our gear. That was probably one of the easiest transactions I've done here. Definitely. I paid for it online. And then, yeah, we're there, man. Drove down and picked them up. Well, yeah, down, not or across. Either yeah. way. So I'm now he's sure. got his new uh, project to start. So we're trying to find our way. Because uh, I didn't turn on the... Uh, So we're going the wrong way, I think. Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm not sure. She's thinking. Turn left onto E62 yeah. towards Cyberbrook and then yeah. and make a slight right turn. Yep, so she told us we have to go the other way, but... These things happen, so we'll just go down a little bit and turn around. But we got what we came for. Uh, two very nice solar panels. So, yeah. It's a win. Easy stuff. Um, In 600 meters, make a slight right turn and then turn right. Now we just have to get home and figure out that whole phase thing. And we'll, we'll get to installing them. So, yeah. We'll catch up with you when we get back to the house. I'll show you what we got in the back of the truck. Alright, now she gets to practice her driving skills. Because she's got to get out without driving into her garden. I think she's going to be able to do it in two shots. And this wire is dead. It's from the old barn that used to be here. That's actually what that pillar was from. Beams used to rest on it. Well, it looks like she got it. Two shots. That's good. Look at them nails. Okay, back Fucking up. Fucking huge nails. Moment. Now he's got to make. Solid. He ain't making it smaller. We'll just pick it up with the. Oh, there you go. All right, so so now when he mounts the solar panels, there will be no shadow because he's going to and I have all the real like speed. right here is where he's gonna mount the solar panels, and this was throwing a huge shadow. Well, also I have to mount it. A bracket's got to go about here. So yeah, oh. this still might have to go, but we'll see. And this is gonna be barn electricity 
Well, no, this is actually going to feed the house. The barn electricity will be the pergola, but this will be that 800 watt balcony solar. Awesome. All right, y'all. So we've been out here at it for a little while and that wall is almost ready. That wall is almost ready for the solar panels and Rachel's moving some other stuff. We're doing some, some cleanup work in the process, but let me flip you around. So the plan is, and we'll back you up a little, is to put the two solar panels side by side. The really good thing about this is the solar panels I can take down easily because we're painting. We're gonna do the stucco and paint back here. This is the first spot that we're gonna do. We're gonna go all the way across the back um, and we're changing the color of the house. So the house is gonna be um, a light gray with a dark gray band around the bottom. Whereas right now it is this tannish color with a like sandstone reddish color around the bottom. Um, I We like the, the other color combination a lot better. It's a little more modern. So yeah, now I just have to take my angle grinder, take these off. And then it's to the workshop to get the panels ready to be hung. Okay, so the wall is prepped and everything. So now we gotta prep panels. So as you can see, we're in the workshop. There's Rachel sitting there behind me. And I'll flip you around. So we put the panels down the way they're gonna go on the wall. Let me zoom out. They're, huge. they're big panels. So we put the panels the way they'll go on the wall. So the way they're sitting, that's the top edge. And this is the bottom edge on the wall. So now I have to put the brackets on it. And then I have to measure all the distances so that I can go outside and mount the other side of the brackets on the wall. And then it should, should be as easy as lifting the panel up and slipping the top two bolts in because it's, it, they hinge on the wall. It should be that easy. Um, there's two of us. The panels are about 40 pounds a piece. So I think it will not be a problem. But if it is, we got a tractor back there that's going to be able to lift them high enough. So we're getting these panels up one way or the other. Hopefully today. Because it's been off and on rain out there. So if you, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's landing on the roof. And we got like a wintery mix, like sleet snow. And yeah, that's kind of crazy because it was what, like f mid fifties yesterday. So, but anyway, let me get to work. Okay, so the first step is done we got the we got the bars down and that's the way they're going to go on the panels however the holes in these right there the long slotted slotted holes are only six millimeter and i need to put eight millimeter holes in it because the holes in the panels are eight millimeters and plus it's a little bit stronger so now i got to go through mark all these and then go ahead and drill them out and then get all the hardware in.
All right, now we got all the brackets mounted, or all the, the bars, whatever you want to call them. So they're mounted, and the holes on there are um, oblong. You know, they're oval versus round. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. So what I did was I also pushed them in this way on each side for the best support on the panel because you have some weight out here and then weight in here. And the way the panel is hanging, I don't want it to try to bow. I know they're designed to, to be mounted on those two points and two rails, but better safe than sorry, right? Because I don't want to have to replace these panels right after doing them. So the next step is I have to get the ruler out and measure from each one of these braces so that I know where I have to put the its partner on the wall. So let's do it. As you can see, we got the first ones up there. Now we'll get set. And we'll get the second one up there. So, we didn't film the first one because we got in a bit of a hurry because we got a big break in the weather. So let me go get the other one and then we'll get that one up there too.
tried to do. You saw what she tried to do, right? And I don't even have life insurance. We got them hung. I'm gonna go ahead and kick them out with the braces so that I can get up underneath and put the uh, inverter on. So, let's get to it. Let's see what I got here. One. Two. Like, I wasn't expecting that. I was actually expecting, you know, a little bit of an issue. He had actually already made plans to put cross braces in it. Yeah, I was planning to go to the hardware store and get cross braces to go across like this to stop any sideways movement, but they're, they're not, they're not going anywhere. I'd hang on it. I'm pretty sure I could, but no, 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 we're no, not no. going to risk it. No hanging on the expensive solar panels. I think I'm gonna make myself a little shed to put under there for my tools. It'll have a roof. Well, the plan is to have the, the uh, greenhouse from the yeah. end over. Yeah. And I really thought about it. And maybe we ought to put, instead of putting a greenhouse over here, maybe we should do the solarium style and actually put it over the door. And you can come in yeah. the greenhouse. Next little rester. Man. That's solid. All right. So now he's got to put the inverter in it goes on that bracket up there you probably need the ladder for that this is the brains of the operation going up Now you will notice that it's spaced off the wall. Um, he did that for aeration. Because so. it's self-cooled with these fins and everything, I think it was a good idea to go ahead and use this pipe channel to space it off the wall. Now we'll just tighten it down. Snug it up. And then you gotta plug it all in. Beautiful. So, it's been a good, good week. So we're missing something here. Right? Chicken coop. We knocked that down last week. But it's all cleaned up except for the plastic roof. But we added something over here. Look at that. So that's 860 watts of solar on the front side. But... They have cells on the back side. So 
win win it's been the weather has the just weather been crazy. we shot holes in the weather all, all day, day. <clears throat> as you can hear it's windy you can hear the wind chimes probably a little bit of wind on the mic <clears throat> but we went ahead and we hooked the panels up to the um, inverter and we didn't hook the AC power up yet we're gonna work on that next um, but that'll probably be tomorrow or something like that right now it is almost five o'clock and I have a ton of editing to do yes, does. with all this footage it's on three different cameras it's everywhere so win-win <clears throat> look at this yeah. yeah so you know my motto if you're thinking about family you're thinking about friends give them the what's up or the whatsapp you know you'd love to hear from them too and until the next adventure of Vita Zane. If you like our content, please give us a big thumbs up. And Cheers. subscribe. Bye. Subscribe.